Uh, hi, welcome back to episode 7. Um, I thought I would do a slightly different uh, painting today. This is more of a kind of conceptual uh, or concept art type painting um, where I made it in a different way to the pictures that you've seen so far. Uh, this one's much more created by just sitting down and starting to put some marks down on the paper and um, or the digital canvas and it, just seeing what happens. Um, so I talked about this in one of the first uh, first couple of videos where it's just about having a go and just starting to make some marks and see see where you get from that if you're not sure. So I, I didn't have an idea before I started this painting. I didn't know I was going to do this kind of turtle, potato, scuba diver kind of thing. Um, I just started making some marks and some shapes and some outlines and gradually through a process of refinement and going back through and painting a little bit more and changing the shapes and reassessing it, you know, just this kind of just appeared. Um, and I was really pleased uh, with this painting actually at the time. I remember uh, feeling it, it had a kind of a sense of life about it. Um, which I really liked, and that it had come from nothing, basically. Um, so let's watch the process, and I'll, I'll talk through it. Um, so I just kind of set a nice tone on the canvas, so it's not glaring white. Um, and then I just started painting shapes and random boxes and colours and um, different tones and blending it in and blurring it together and trying to find some hard edges. And I had no real idea about what I was doing um, at all. So I started, you know, popping in some eyes where there might be some shapes, trying to develop some areas of light and dark and just carving and then in with the paint, finding where the hard edges might be, um, cutting and, and pulling the, the painting with the lasso tools. And, um, you know, you can see there that was, um, I'll pause it actually at this point. Um, can I pause it? Yeah, so at this point, I was really struggling. Uh, um, I liked some elements of it, but this shape of the head, I was kind of chopping bits away and moving it back and forth, and you can see kind of trying to make that work. And then at these times, sometimes I think you need to do something a bit drastic. So I just kind of chopped off the front of, uh, got a rubber, a kind of a hard edge rubber, and just chopped it. Um, and straight away, that kind of, where I had that bit of, um, if you see the highlight on the, on the kind of middle of the nose there, when I chopped it off, it kind of formed a, a natural ridge for a nose. And I immediately thought, okay, that's, that's a nice shape. The, the shape, the highlighted bit in the middle of the head, which was originally just kind of like a, a dent, suddenly became a perfect eye um, shape. And that was just completely from, from chopping that bit of nose off. Um, so you can see where the eye pops in there. And um, before that wasn't an eye, the eyes were down there in the mouth kind of thing. Or the snout, or whatever that whatever that bit of that drawing was. Um, but as I cut it off, it, it turns just looked like a great eye. And then that helped me um, develop an idea. So I'll let it play ahead. So I started to dig into that a little bit more and try and shape that out a little bit. Um, and at this point, I was feeling... You know, like you know, actually, I do have a character now. I have a painting that I can that I can that I can work on. Um, and again, I'm not sure entirely what I'm doing. So I put some teeth in. It didn't seem to quite work. And then I they had this element feel of a kind of a turtle head. So I put a kind of a beak. I guess the I guess that's what turtles have. Tortoises have um, on there, and just with just with color, just to give a sense that there's a different texture and a different feel to that part of the head. And just gradually then use the shapes that had been developed through a lot of random mark making at the beginning and, and letting that that I think the brushwork kind of lead you. And then at this point now I'm starting to do more conscious sort of design um, and trying to work out the anatomy of, of the character. This red kind of streak that had gone up the back and across the shoulders felt like the perfect um shape to have a, sort of a suit that wrapped around its neck like a little space suit 
And then this um, just feeds, those, those random marks at the beginning start to feed into this more deliberate stage. Uh, and I'm just trying to work out some lighting now, really roughly, and painting in, taking it away, painting in, taking it away, trying to get my cut some edges in and some harder lines, but without drawing too much and just trying to let the let the difference in value tell the kind of where the edges are um i always try to put a bit of rim light on i probably do it a little bit too early but a bit of rim light because that that helps me find an edge in a nice satisfying way without drawing a black hard mark there um, and it just just gives an atmosphere to to paintings and images that i i just find really satisfying and then that gives me motivation to carry on um, so here you can see it's, I'm cutting in those kind of rib muscle lines underneath the arm there with some with some rim lighting just to give a sense of where that structure might be. Uh, and now I'm trying to work on the suit. You can see around the kind of L, uh, shoulder area. Um, I'm cutting in these little lines where I felt like it might be interesting to have some illuminated parts of the suit. Um, you can see I'm brightening those up a little bit. I've added some texture to the to the head, some little spots and some skin blemishes to help give it a, a sense of um, texture and reality. And I'm just darting around the, the painting back and forth, finding little areas that I think could do with some some details whilst trying to leave some areas quite sketchy. You can see the art, the, that back arm, its right arm is, is barely anything. It's just a kind of couple of rough very rough loose light marks but it reads as an arm pretty well so i just left it the the left arm has a little bit more structure up towards the top where its head is but the rest of it's you know barely anything again his legs very very rough couple of sketchy marks um because i felt like i have enough in that information um enough in those marks to to do the job um that i wanted it to do and uh, I just kind of left it at this stage. I felt I felt it was at a really good point, um, and I'm probably in danger of overworking it. So at this point, um, I left it, and I haven't actually returned to this character, but it might be um, an interesting thing to do. Um, so I'll put it into my mind as something I might come back to. But I I enjoy doing this painting, and it's a different it's a different way to the other to of making a painting, and probably a bit of a different style. A little bit more realism in this, maybe, um, than on some of the ones um, that I've done so far. But uh, yeah, I've hoped you enjoyed seeing this painting. I'll do a few, and the next few paintings that I'll go through will, will be these kind of creature, monster type characters, and a lot of them are made in this same way. Um, so I'll do a few more of those over the next few episodes. Um, hopefully, you enjoy them. Uh, please leave a like and a comment, subscribe, and really good to get some feedback. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.